Vagon is a cloud computing company that provides cloud PC solutions for designers, professionals, creatives, engineers, educators, gamers, and more. Vagon has individual, business, and enterprise solutions for different PC scenarios. They use Amazon Web Services for their cloud computing needs. We went through each performance tier and ran a 3D Mark test on all of them. Let's see how each one performs. Now before I start, I want to reference 3D Mark benchmark numbers to machines most cloud gamers might know. I'm going to reference the Shadow Machines so you can get a good reference on how powerful these machines are. The base Shadow Machine, the P5000 GPU, has a 3D Mark score of 5716. And the Shadow Power Upgrade, the A4500 GPU, has a score just under 10K, 9814. Now we're going to start with the Graphics Accelerator Machines since the machines below it do not have a suitable GPU for gaming. The first one is the Planet Tier. Now please note that I tried to run these on their native app, but it just wasn't working. Check out our full review for the app above. Now because of this, I ran them through Parsec instead. Now here's the specs of this tier. The CPU is an Intel Xeon Platinum 8259CL with a clock speed of 2.5 GHz with two cores and four threads. And it's using the Nvidia Tesla T4 as the GPU. And lastly, it's using 16 gigs of RAM. Amazon labels this as the G4DN.X large tier. The Planet tier had a score of 4141, which is worse than the base shadow machine. I don't recommend this tier for gaming at all. Next is the Star tier. This has additional cores and threads, which go up to 8 cores and 16 threads for additional processing power. RAM also gets bumped up to 64 gigabytes. Amazon labels this as the G4DN.4X large tier. This tier is just about equivalent to the base shadow machine. If that's what you're looking for, this is it. Now the last one of the graphics accelerated tiers is the Galaxy tier. This has a whopping 48 cores, 4 T4s, and 192 gigabytes of RAM. This tier was so powerful, even Parsec couldn't get access to the machine, which was similar to what happened during the multi-GPU machine on the Tensor Dock benchmark. So unfortunately, I don't have a 3D Mark number for you. Now moving on to the top row of the latest generation of GPUs. These are equipped with the A10G GPU, which is equivalent to a regular consumer-based RTX 3080 card. The Spark tier is the first one in the lineup. These tiers got their CPU upgraded to an AMD Epic 7R32 with a clock speed of 2.8 GHz with 2 cores and 4 threads. And of course the GPU is the Nvidia A10G and they're starting off this tier with 16 GB of RAM. Amazon labels this tier as the G5.X Large. Now for the benchmark. The A10G really puts this tier on its back with a score of 6657. This tier is stronger than the base shadow machine. The Epic processor is nice, but working with only two cores and four threads, it's really holding back the system. Now saying this, I have played this tier before, and it runs games pretty well at 1080p. Now for the next machine in the lineup, the Flame tier. This bumps the tier up to four cores and eight threads and 32 gigs of RAM. Amazon labels this one G5 2X Large. And how does it perform? Well, folks, if you're looking for your power upgrade tier contender, here it is. The flame tier comes above the shadow power upgrade at 10,422. But of course, at a price of $2.27 an hour, it better be good. So if you have the money to run this baby for decent 4K performance, this is the one. Now, if the flame tier wasn't enough for you, Vagon offers the blaze tier. This tier increases the Epic CPU to 8 cores and 16 threads. Plus, you get 64 gigs of RAM. What else could you ask for? An Ada Lovelace GPU. That's <laughs> always someone. Amazon labels this one as a G5 4X Large. Well, is this tier any good? Does a score of 13,132 suit you? With a price tag of $3.57 an hour, it should not only play your games flawlessly, but it should also wipe your kid friendly. Well, every game except super demanding games like Cyberpunk 2077. It got an average of 45 frames per second at 4K with the settings on Ultra. So alright, I see your point with Ada Lovelace. Told you so. So there's one last tier, the Lava tier. This tier had the same problems as the other multi-GPU tier, so I don't have a score for you. Not that anyone should spend money on this tier. Good God. Overall, you'll have a decent pick when it comes to what Vagon machine you want to run to play your games. You will pay for it though. And speaking of that, if you're looking to get signed up, use the link in the description and receive $5 in credit to start with. If you like this benchmark of Vagon, give us a like. Also, make sure to join as a member of the channel or join our Patreon in the links below. And above all else, make sure to subscribe to keep it locked right here 
at the only place where you can do battle in gaming heaven, Cloud Gaming Battle. This is the Black Knight. Vagon, give TensorDoc a call.